Okay, in this lesson, we'll cover copy monitor, um, specifically MEP fixtures. So we may ask ourselves what is actually copy monitor and what it has to do with our MEP fixtures. It's just a tool that helps you monitor the changes from link, uh, link uh, movement of fixtures. Just like the last exercise, we use the uh, copy monitor to create levels linked into our MEP drive project. So we could basically see the changes that happens in the architect's model. So here I want to thank uh, this model. I got it from Infinite Skills in 2014 MEP. Um, so here we have our link models. We have our architect, the architect's model linked into our MEP model. And these are the levels on the right we monitored in the last exercise. So if anything changes, we'll be notified if there's a change. So now we're going to look at how we can monitor MEP fixtures. So first, let's look at where the files are actually managed. To see that, go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. And then we'll go to where it says Manage Links. So this window opens, you'll see the actual architectural model linked in to this current MVP project. You can reload it, unload it, or add new links to this model. So we'll click cancel here. It also it just sets the settings for what any fixtures are going to be modeled and linked from project to project. So we'll set that on the collaborate tab. And then all the way to the right, we'll select coordinate settings here. Now this window opens here, coordination settings. We set what any pictures, fixtures we want to map or copy and monitor, monitor from project to project. So at the very top, it says set the links. Since we only have one, we'll just choose the architect model. Now on the left are the categories of fixtures that we can share, copy and monitor from linked files. So for this example, let's click on plumbing fixtures. Now the two options we have for behavior are the first section set is copy individually or copy behavior. If you hit click on copy individually, a drop down appears and you have two other options, allow batch and ignore. You can copy an individual item or you can copy the category. So batch is all, ignore is just ignore. Let's see this set to copy individually. Now below that we have mapping behavior. It says copy original. If you click on it and drag the pull down, you have a drop down again. If you click um, copy original or specify type mapping. So let's click specify type mapping. Now once you do that on the left, the category below plumbing, you see a new entry called type mapping click type mapping and once you do that you'll see all the current types of sinks that are in this project now each one has a setting how you like to have it copied or monitored into the link file just like we saw on the other screen if you click on pop on original type and then click the drop down here you have other options or you can say copy or don't copy. So you can set these individually if you want. So 
Now they click from these pictures again. And under mapping behavior on the right, let's click on Spike Mapping. And let's hit Copy Original. So these are all set how we want to copy the monitor. Now let's click Save and Close right here. Now all we learned in this lesson was how to copy monitor again where we can actually uh, monitor fixtures individually or a picture in the batch process. So thanks for watching this video. We'll carry on to the next video. And we'll see you in the next video.